What's going on guys, General Jobber here, and today I'm going to be talking again about the Super Easter Egg, but not as to why it won't exist this time, to as it might exist, because there's been a new post on the subreddit made by Pete'sBoy5799 that compiles loads of evidence as to why it still might exist, and some updates about people, things on the maps, items, just stuff in general about zombies that could still lead to a Super Easter Egg that either haven't been solved, haven't been found, or that data miners have found, or evidence for data mining. So let's just run through some of that, and uh, I'll talk about my ideas, my thoughts on each of these points and just kind of try and give you a quick run through so let's get right into it. So like I said this post was made by Pete'sBoy5799 on the Call of Duty Zombies subreddit and the post actually opens up with something called a mega update and it says that the Cryptofictors YouTube channel has actually opened up two more videos and the first video is coordinates that lead to Peter McCain and the other one is coordinates that lead to Shinonuma and he says that we actually have to go back into Grod Crovy and find Peter from when he's falling from the cutscene but Peter was also seen in the Revelations trailer which is also his first point on the list so we need to find him in Grog Crowley and Revelations or either one of them and really the first three points are just stuff that we've already said about the trailer like the stuff about the Shadow Man hitting Richtofen and him screaming, Richtofen diving and screaming Maxis and jumping into a large object like he says on the list and obviously Pete McCain's like we just um, discussed but Pete McCain was found in Shino Numa so I don't know where he thinks the coordinates to Pete McCain and the coordinates to Shino Numa are different because Pete McCain was in Shino Numa so that confused me a little bit but I think the trailer is what we're all holding on hope to because obviously we saw Pete McCain and Max is being shocked and stuff. So that's one of the main things that he's brought up here, the trailer and how the stuff from that could still lead to a super easter egg. And the next piece of evidence he brings up is a tweet that was actually sent out. So someone tweeted Activision saying, uh, Cod, you should reply to this tweet if there's a super easter egg on Revelations or on Cod Zombies in general. And they replied to him saying, we're not falling for that. Now this has the community in two states. One state is like, okay well they just said they're not falling for it that's a stupid move that's just them saying there's no super easter egg they just had to tell him and not leave him hanging but the other half of the community is like that's a reply they've replied to him they took the time to reply to him i don't know if there was an emoticon at the end of the message because obviously if you put a winky face or something in it it could be interpreted as like sarcasm or something like that but i'm kind of on the the part of the community that's like that's a reply like they've actually just took the time like if it wasn't anything they wouldn't take the time out to just tweet him back because a lot of people must tweet activision about and super easter egg and stuff like that so i think the fact that they've actually tweeted back in might mean there's something there so pizza boy's got a good point here now his next point is something that i was actually discussing with a fan on someone else's youtube video and it's about the encrypted uh, trailer that we all found the encrypted cutscene sorry and the fact that it was shadows of evil and not a revelations uh, alternate cutscene so that cutscene was encrypted as pizza boy says here which only heightens the suspicions to going back over past maps now when i was talking to someone on someone else's youtube video we were actually saying maybe it's not just a shadows of evil cutscene maybe it's like treyarch's way of saying you need to go back to shadows of evil to look at something you've missed something but something else that I thought is maybe they've encrypted it because they knew they put the wrong trailer in. So they thought, okay, while we figure out, because they can't miss a release date, right? If it's all set up for October 6th, they can't miss it and say, we've got to delay it because we've messed something up. So if they've put the Shadows of Evil trailer in, maybe they encrypted it so no one would find it in game. And then by the time Shad Revelations comes out, sorry, they can change it in a hotfix. But that's just my thoughts anyway. But like this guy says here, and I actually quoted this when I was talking to that guy on um, someone else's video, Treyarch doesn't add things in for no reason. They don't think do things on accident. So maybe they did this for a reason, like I said, to say, look, you got to go back to Shadows of Evil, you're missing something. Now I'm actually going to lump a few together here because they all kind of talk about the same thing and it's pointless me just keep going back over them. And those are 0.6, 0.10, 0.13, 14, and 0.17. So these are all about the game's code. And point six says that there's a second kind of ritual type in Shadows of Evil that wasn't used in game. So obviously the first kind of ritual is the ritual where you sacrifice someone to get the gate worm. But apparently there's a second one. Now I don't know if this is actually just a ritual for the sword, the upgrading the sword, things like that, or the um, Margos when you're trying to upgrade it. But they say that there's a second type of code for a ritual that isn't actually used in game. And then it says the black Margo Hall, or the purple one as we all see it, has been alluded to numerous times. Now I don't know again whether that means in the code or whether it's just like by quotes or something, but still this person says, Pete's Boy says, it's been a lot alluded to and it's been talked about, which means we still could kind of use it. And then 13 says each map has a significant amount of coding that isn't related to the specific easter egg on the map or any aspect of the map that we have discovered thus far which means there's some part of the code that says you've got to do something with something that's not on this map with something or somewhere that's with something that's on this map but not you don't do it on this map if that makes sense so there's something about a coding or an easter egg that says you've got to do something but 
you haven't discovered it in this map so far so maybe this area is somewhere where we have to open up in the map and the part that's got me thinking is when you go to open the apothecon in revelations it actually says this open this before you shock the apothecon the door says this door is opened elsewhere which kind of makes me think well surely if, if it opens elsewhere you should be able to find out where the elsewhere is you should be able to find the gap so that when that one opens by the apothecon that other one will shut and it should say the same thing this door is opened elsewhere so i'm trying to think where is that other door Maybe it's the door in Dreisendrak, that's clearly not a door, but still. Uh, the next one is actually um, 14, which says, Using an interactable, interactable glitch, some ob objects haven't been utilised thus far. So, I think this is just stuff like the blue max ammos, uh, stuff from the pods that you can get on Shadows of Evil, just stuff that you can pick up, and you just don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to have any effect except for the blue max ammo, which takes all your points and your guns. And then finally, point 17 actually says, some of the cutscenes are rendered in-game, which means Days of Miners can't find them. And this is like a strategy that they use themselves. So they'll encrypt a file and they'll only make it playable in-game so that when people get it on PC, like we have been doing, and we go through the files and we look for all the steps and stuff, they actually try and keep it secret. So they're like, you can find everything else, sure, but this thing, this is quite secret and quite precious. You can't find this yet because it's quite important. So that's probably another good reason as to why that cutscene was encrypted. Right, so the next points I'm going to lump together are point 7, point 11, and point 12 and these are all about people saying things so Blundell says that if we think we're finished in Revelations we are wrong so like this uh, Pete's Boy says it could be for a new game but he's going to put it there anyway so what we're all thinking from this is what we assumed was when you're done with the Revelations Easter egg don't assume you finish because there's something else that something else might be a super Easter egg but obviously we've had loads of evidence saying it's not a super Easter egg or it's not exactly what you think it might be but whatever so we're thinking maybe Blundell still has some kind of consistency behind that argument maybe there is something still there we just haven't found it yet point 11 talks about the real decrypt fixer and he says that he believed it's the decrypt fixer there was a super easter egg and he did continue to fight for its cause you know dropping the ciphers and stuff that the subreddit had to figure out but then the hate made him delete his account so obviously we can't talk to him about it or that's the reason why he deleted his account because so many people were messaging at him and hating on him for not giving us clues to the super easter egg but still and he actually said that there was loads of stuff in grog crovy that we haven't found thus far and that actually links Back to the first point that we were talking about, that uh, mega update where we need to find Peter McCain on Garod Crovy. And finally, I know this video has been a bit of a long one, but I'm finally going to lump together just the last few points that are just about in-game things. So, like Pete's voice says here, Al's hat that's on Revelations in the Mob of the Dead section that we can put on, it actually doesn't do anything thus far. You know, there's a load of people that believe it gives you more power-ups, there's a load of people that believe it's just like for cosmetic but still we haven't found an actual part of the code or the part of the game that says by the way you need Al's hat to do this by the way this is what Al's hat does because all the other ones give us perks give us damage reduction damage increase stuff like that but Al's hat just says when you pick it up Al's hat so we don't know what that does yet uh, the next thing is that the uh, Ragnaroks aren't actually used in the um, not the cutscene the Easter egg at all because we thought maybe because we get them out of the box we don't have to do something special with them they might be using the Easter eggs on Dries and Drac. I think we've all tried it. We've all tried putting down the gravity spikes on the, the little squares that we use to activate the zero G. Nothing happens. So we're a bit confused as to what they do. But a lot of us are just like, maybe they are just a specialist weapon. Uh, the next thing is that the jump scares we've only found in Shadows of Evil and Zetsbo and Hiroshima. But we have been told via code that there isn't actually a jump scare on Dries and Drac. We don't know about Grog Krovi and obviously we don't know about Revelations. And finally, the Mob of the Dead plane, again, I was talking to someone when I was talking about the other point. I was talking to them also about the Mob of the Dead plane, saying how it's in a lot of maps. And maybe those maps that the plane's in are the ones we have to go back to. Because we don't see it in Garod Crovy, and I don't believe we see it in Revelations. I'm not too sure, though. But maybe there's something on Shadows of Evil, maybe something on Zetsubo and Oshima that makes those maps so special that that plane can jump through dimensions and get to them. So maybe those are the maps that we have to go back to and pick up certain aspects of to find Peter McCain in Garod Krovy. So like we're all suspecting that we take the flowers through from Garod Krovy to Revelations, maybe there's something on Shadows of Evil like the purple Magua Heart, and then maybe there's something on Zetsubo and Oshima that we have to take into Grod Crovey to help us find Peter McCain, but I'm not too sure. So again, these are just my own thoughts are based off this Pizza Boy uh, 5799's post. So finally, at the bottom of this, it just says my opinion on the first step, and he says basically on Grod Crovey using the Black Margot Heart or something like that, we can find Peter McCain because he was in the cutscene of Grod Crovey, he was in the trailer for Revelations, and we can do something with his body, we can interact with him. But he says Peter McCain or the Black Margot Heart are the main leads to this Super Easter Egg, and I completely agree with him. I still have full hope that this super easter egg still exists and i know it might be a bit clutching at straws here but 
part of me just thinks they put in the Shadows of Evil trailer as a mistake. Part of me just thinks maybe it's maybe the Shadows of Evil trailer is part of the ending cutscene. That's why it's got no audio because the code is to like jump between like different parts of the trailer and add in other bits of it. But whatever. But I still think this super Easter egg exists, and the Pete's Boy five seven nine nine post just backs up my ideas even more. So thank you for Pete's Boy for making this post. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving it a like rating. If you want to have a discussion with me about your ideas, your thoughts of the super Easter egg? Feel free to start a discussion in the comments below. I'll always um, be happy to reply to you and talk to you. Please consider subscribing. It would help me out a bunch. And other than that, I've been General Gerbil. Peace out.